This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Pastrana. Sunrise police say they've arrested a father and daughter who plotted to kill a man. Police say Michael Colon plotted the murder of Johnny Ridgway III at the Sunrise home Colon shared with Ridgway and Ridgway's wife. An arrest report says there was bad blood between Ridgway and Colon. Investigators say Colon had his daughter pick up the gunman in Miami-Dade and drive him to the home where he carried out the murder. Ridgway's wife says Colon is her nephew and she cannot believe he and his daughter are accused in this crime. We trusted someone into our home that we loved. He opened his doors for them and then took his life. For, for I don't know why. I still don't understand. Sunrise police are still looking for another suspect. It wasn't the weather, but a car on fire causing some delays at Miami International Airport. The Miami-Dade Fire Department putting out a Ferrari on fire on the outbound lanes at MIA. Witnesses say the car was engulfed in flames by the time crews arrived. Luckily, no one was hurt, but it did cause a backup at the airport for Thanksgiving Day travelers. No word, though, on what caused that fire. Many South Florida shoppers waking up early in search of Black Friday bargains. Many are hitting the stores in search of those deals, and shoppers have steadily trickled into Dadeland Mall today. But the crowds are expected to get much larger throughout the day and the rest of the afternoon across various storefronts in both Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Many participated in doorbuster deals, and some people started their holiday shopping on Thanksgiving Day. eMarketer is forecasting this could be the first ever trillion-dollar shopping season. Instead of spending Thanksgiving Day singing and performing, Gloria and Emilio Estefan spent their Thanksgiving serving and feeding their community. The Estefans hosted their 12th annual Feed a Friend, which provides Thanksgiving meals to people in need in the Miami area. Besides getting some traditional dishes, the couple added some Cuban classics to the meal. Emilio Estefan spoke with CBS4 about the importance of this day to him and his wife. We bring people together, and you know, I think Thanksgiving is doing and uh, making somebody else happy and giving something back to the community. While the adults got to enjoy the live music and dancing, kids got an early Christmas surprise with a special visit from Santa Claus and even a gingerbread bounce house. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. That sounds like fun and thankfully the weather cooperated for all of your Thanksgiving festivities and now we're waking up to a cool Chris start 69 in Miami 66 Fort Lauderdale 75 in Key West. It really is a gorgeous start to the day this Black Friday weather cooperating whatever your plans are winds right now fairly light or calm mainly out of the northwest in the wake of a cold front a weak front that moved through yesterday right now we're dry and throughout the day mostly sunny not expecting rain not as warm with highs around 80 degrees and a pleasant breeze for you boaters winds northeast 10 to 15 knots seas 2 to 3 a moderate chop on the bays and tonight lows will be in the upper 60s along the coast low 60s inland as we head into your Saturday a repeat with pleasant sunshine a little warmer Sunday with 82 84 on Monday with a chance for a few showers ahead of our next stronger cold front which will usher in lows in the 50s by Tuesday morning and highs in the low 70s Lauren. Lizette, thank you. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.